welcome back. Did you miss us? Because we missed you, and it's now part two of Premier Week for What's on, on the market. market. We've already shown you two fabulous vendors who are here at Mass Nuttons Farmers Market, so now it's time for another round. So, let's, let's go. go. We're going to keep the meat train going. We're here with Zion Farms. We're here with Madam Susie. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Yeah, hi, Susie. So, our question is, uh, is beef and pork still in high demand? I feel like it really is. We ship all over the United States, um, which is really cool. Oh, wow. It's fat beef and pork here in Virginia is cheaper for people in California and Colorado to order than and pay for shipping than it is for them to purchase beef and pork where they live. So. Wow, wow. And with the preservative free meat that you're going for, not just for you, for people like me, Anna, and everyone else who loves meat, does that make red meat more healthier? Absolutely, absolutely, because you're not putting all those hormones and preservatives into your body, especially for children with all the growth hormones and everything. Um, it's fantastic to be able to have natural beef that, you know, as a mom, like I have two kids, I feel comfortable feeding my kids versus what's in the grocery store. I love this meat top. <laughs> yeah. It's like meat Monday. That's yeah, it. That's but right. meat every day. <laughs> I'll meet Wednesday. I'll meet that's you right. when you're on the market. We're buzzing over to Shenandoah Valley Honey Company with Ms. Melissa. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Very great. So you are a beekeeper yourself, in fact, right? Yes, ma'am. So how does that help add to the sweet honey that's being made and shared with the rest of us? So being a beekeeper yourself really is part of the bigger picture. If you think about what honey bees do and how they protect our food supply, they're very important to the whole food chain because they pollinate everything from almonds to garden to flour. And the end result is this delicious jar of honey you see in front of you today. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's uh, amazing to be part of that process because processing the honey itself is quite a job. Uh, we're uncapping it, we're harvesting beeswax, we're harvesting the honey. All of our honey is cold processed. We use cold capping knives. We cold bottle so that it protects every enzyme that's inside that bottle of honey and we package only in glass. Nice, I love it. So how does the quality and the taste of the honey change depending on what it's being used for? Well, the quality of the honey and the taste of the honey are really two different things. Mm -hmm. The quality of the honey can be controlled by the beekeeper itself in terms of making sure that the moisture content is right when it's harvested. That's going to give you a quality jar of honey. The taste is actually determined by the bees and the bees are pollinating many things and whatever they're pollinating they're bringing that nectar back. They're filling the hives with that nectar and the taste is very often determined by what happens to be in heavy pollination to a specific area. Gotcha. Love gotcha. it. Love it. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I can't stop eating it. It's so good. <laughs> I would definitely say it's been a very sweet premiere week, wouldn't you? I would say so, and you can catch us Mondays or Fridays. Either way, we will be here. Showing you everything that's on, on the, the market. market.